OpenAI is giving us another cool release as a free update to ChatGPT Canvas. It's released Canvas for the O1 model, and they've also added some awesome functionality that allows you to render HTML and React code. You might already be familiar with the content generation functionalities of Canvas, but now you can create high fidelity prototypes, apps that work and feel like the real thing. So for this first example, we'll go to ChatGPT, click on this icon to view tools and choose Canvas. And we'll ask it to create a modern task app. It generates the code and it allows you to use NPM packages and JavaScript libraries. After it generates the code, it renders the code in a sandbox environment and allows you to preview by clicking on preview in the top right corner and it loads your app and this is where you can test the app since we fed it a very simple prompt it produced a very simple looking app so we'll test it with the first task record video clips click on add and it gives us our first task here if we click on this it indicates that we've completed the task we can also click on this trash icon to delete the task and now if we want to add multiple tasks, we'll add this one and then we'll add publish video, add, and then post video on social media. So you can test all the functionality of the app. If you want to optimize the app or the render, there are a few tasks you can perform on the code without reprompting ChatGPT. In order to do that, click on stop in the top right corner. And if you hover over this icon in the lower right corner, you'll see your options, some of which include highlighting specific lines of code. So these options include adding comments to explain the code or improve the readability, adding logs to insert print statements and help with debugging and tracking code execution, fixing bugs, detecting and rewriting code with errors, porting the language to another language that includes JavaScript, Python, Java, TypeScript, C++, or PHP. And then there's also Code Review, which provides inline suggestions to optimize and improve your code. When you highlight a line or multiple lines of code, this helper button will pop up and when you click on it, you can either ask ChatGPT to edit or explain the code. And once you do that, then it'll respond with an explanation in the left panel here. So you can use this to create comments in your code. Now we'll take this to another step and ask ChatGPT to create a modern daily task app that includes prioritization. You can see ChatGPT editing the code. If you look at the top here, there are a couple icons that allow you to view the changes that ChatGPT made in the code, undo or redo changes, copy the code, but let's take a look at the output. And we'll add our task. Indicate it's a top three, click on add. And we'll do this out of order to test the prioritization functionality. Post video to social media. This one we won't set it as a top three task. And then for the next task, create CTA landing page. For the final task, publish video on YouTube top three, click on add, and it orders our tasks according to the priority. So that looks great. I added one more task to ask partners to promote the video. Now let's say we want to prioritize this one as a top three task. So we need to remove one of the existing top three tasks. Now if we try to prioritize it right from the task, it disables us from doing that because we already have our top three tasks set. So let's 
remove create CTA landing page from the top three. So it moves this below the top two. And then if we click on the star for promoting with partners, the app moves it up to the top three. You can also design web pages with ChatGPT Canvas. Here, I gave it another simple prompt asking Canvas to create a landing page for a link in bio app. I've always been a fan of this gradient effect, so I love that design. It's placed a call to action above the fold, and then it gives us this three column layout, identifying the benefits of using this product. It shows us how the product works, and then another call to action at the bottom. The main issue with this is it looks like it has placeholders for images, but it fails to load those images for these three elements here under why choose us. Other than that, everything else looks good for only providing a very simple prompt. I also tried another simple prompt asking Canvas to create a Yelp clone. And initially it produced this search bar and then these cards for restaurants. So it's missing quite a bit. There's quite a bit of difference between this and Yelp.com. You can see Yelp has this header, this scrolling header with recent reviews below. I've only tried creating apps with a few prompts in ChatGPT Canvas, but it seems to prefer a minimalist design. So for the next iteration of this app, I prompted ChatGPT Canvas again to add city zip code field for the search bar images of food for the restaurant cars and buttons for different types of cuisine. So from my initial use of ChatGPT Canvas, it isn't as easy to use compared to AI coding assistants or AI app creation tools like Bolt.new. With a simple prompt to create a Yelp clone, it was able to generate this for me. It's another high fidelity prototype and what you see here is the result of some follow-up prompts just to adjust the design without adding any major features. This update for ChatGPT Canvas is still a good release. It also highlights the importance of learning prompt engineering. The key is to provide good details so you can produce the desired results. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to improve your prompt or ask questions for clarification on the designs. But if you want to see more content on those AI coding assistants or app creation tools, let me know. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.